just I could just like Christ, take a video said, of everybody. When is this guy gonna we'll die? Send it to you. Yeah. And I said, I do is it working die? now? I don't know. It's working. <laughs> just, just, just go around and around. Listen to the conversation. Everybody, my ears. I'm sunny. I said, Johnny boy. Did you ever tell the story which I did you ever tell the story which I told about a thousand people when the when the guard said take your wig off? Oh that was <laughs> Would you believe tell the story? Up, right? That's funny. John, I'm in the I'm in the We had a party for uh, Sonny John Francis. It was his 101st birthday last year, February sixth. Basically his entire family came there the whole day and the pictures that we have which are very limited. Uh, I was there. His son was there, Carmine. Uh, his daughter was there later on with her kids. Uh, a lot of his nephews, his nephew Michael and a bunch of other ones, and they've been uh, very supportive of him. We basically take turns, um, you know, visiting him. He gets a visitor, uh, I'd say, almost every day. Uh, People, he likes to go out to eat. We take him to different restaurants, Italian restaurants, maybe Chinese food, whatever. Just get him out of there for a few hours. He, he does. He's been cooped up so long. He doesn't want to be cooped up anymore. A lot of people ask me, um, you know, where's Michael? Michael wasn't at his birthday party. Um, Michael uh, wasn't at his sentencing when he got sentenced in 2010. Uh, he wasn't there for his release. It would be nice if he visited him more. I feel like Sonny uh, needs a lot of love, a lot of caring. Uh, he's had a horrible life. He shouldn't even been arrested at 93 years old. Unfortunately, he's been in jail so long. His Social Security was like $500 a month, which is a joke. He has no pension, nothing. It would have been nice if over the years if Michael could have helped his father, could have helped his mother financially. His mother died in 2012. She was a nice woman. She was very supportive of Sonny. She helped me in a lot of different areas of my life, uh, bailing me out when I got in trouble in, in uh, 1990. Uh, she was a good mother. She had a lot of problems um, towards the end, you know, financially and what have you. And uh, she had gotten um, cancer. She had, uh, I believe, breast cancer. And uh, she was on her deathbed. And she was calling up Michael. and trying to call him and trying to call him and uh, he would never answer the phone and when he did I heard her once say um, Michael you keep telling me you're gonna come you're gonna come Michael you never come they had a lot of hardship Sonny and his wife had a lot a lot of hardships they had to go through there's no blueprint for a, a person who has been wrongfully convicted or a person who was went to prison for a long time and was a stand-up person uh, a person who took all the weight uh, you come out and there's no uh, parade waiting for you. There's no jobs waiting for you. Uh, it's almost impossible to get a job on the books. So sometimes I look at these people that are informers and what have you, and you know uh, they took the easy way out. Uh, and then they get book deals, they get movie deals, they get you know. It's hard for me to understand. I uh, I don't even believe everything that they say. It's bad enough getting in trouble for things you do, but, you know, something you didn't do. And to have such a curse like that, uh, to do 40 years in prison is ridiculous. Even, uh, you know, to go to jail at 93, uh, there should be a law like, you know, if you're over 90, this should just put you in an old age home or something like that. Like, ridiculous that they kept him in jail. In some ways, he is a prisoner. He doesn't, you know, he can't just go out and go do what he wants. Uh, at the same time, um, he has it a lot better than a lot of people in the nursing home. He gets a lot of visitors. He gets a lot of family support. I don't see that with other people. You know, uh, yes, Michael's in California or whatever, but his other family, you know, they come and see him. Could they all see him every day? I don't think so. They have jobs, they have their own lives, but they do spend money on him. They do bring him food. Do we all get him clothes and what have you? I'm kind of like family to him. I've known him so long. I knew his daughters. I'm, I'm friends with his son Carmine, and uh, uh, believe it or not, you know, Carmine uh, has never been in trouble with the law, never been in trouble, a, a good guy, man, a hard worker, you know, uh, he's not a multi-millionaire, but, you know, he he has respect for his father, and I respect him for that, and the, and the daughter, uh, the older daughter, Lorraine, uh, she... Uh, Constantly, uh, you know, bringing him clothes and, uh, you know, uh, talking to doctors, making sure that he's treated okay 
in a place. I, I, I give them a lot of credit, you know. I mean, you can't just forget about your parents because they're old or they're sick or what have you. It's, it's not right. So he has a lot better than other people in a nursing home because of his strong family ties. On the other hand, uh, Michael visits him like once a year, takes a couple of pictures with him, goes back to California, and maybe the next year he'll visit him, you know, for a few hours, take a few pictures with him, and, uh, you know, tell his story on TV. Uh, do I agree with that? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not here to judge him, you know. Uh, I, I, I have work in being a Christian. You know, Michael's going to be Michael. I don't think anyone's going to change him. Johnny boy, did you ever tell the story Ooh. which I did you ever tell the story which I told about a thousand people when the when the guard said take your wig off? Oh, that was. <laughs> you believe, tell the story. Up, right? That's funny. So I'm, I'm in the I'm in the I'm in the place there, and uh, the guard goes. Jump friends, he says, "What? Well, who wants to see me?" He says, "Oh, some of your business. You jump friends, he." I says, well, if it's a public hearing, she says, uh, they want to talk to you about something. Or is it cops? No. Well, then what do you want? Well, come on, if you, uh, who's John Francis? I'm John Francis. So she says, take your hair off. Take my hair off. Yeah. Well, I can't do it. I got the strength. You pull it off. She goes, this ain't a wig. Oh, Cody, it's a wig. Everybody said you had a wig on. You have a wig? We don't even go to wigs. 